How long were you on the server for after well, that? I I so I joined I joined late to the to the woohoo Wednesday yesterday uh cuz yeah I was at a a work dinner um so that was cool to see some coworkers and all that jazz but so what I got I got on around like 7:30 or 8 p.m. Pacific and I was on till probably like 10 10:30 p.m. so like 2 2 and a half hours dude that's uh that's probably the longest session it a- also went on for two hours before as well yeah true true um it's, it's definitely like the most uh jam pack fun filled night we've had on the Glovework server probably since the release of of c s two so we're making headway we're making progress it's hard to really you know determine you know well you what what's the what's the cause of the recent resurgence you know the revival i think i think there's a lot of contributing factors uh one is most definitely the existence of the number one podcast most entertaining uh podcast topics uh funniest streamers uh magic eight ball and justin so that's true um I think that's got to play a big role is our, our massive audience here on the Gloveworks podcast. Second, what else? We added a bunch of features, right? So we finally got the Quake sounds back on the server, uh, got got ranks and points back on the server, and then the controversial decision to add skins back on the server. The thing is, I, I went through this whole same psychological battle with skins back in cs go dude back back in cs go like i was anti adding skins in the server because people would just join the server and just sit there fucking afk just scrolling through the skins and just like dude i'm like i I don't even think i had points on the server yet i like i I was just like i don't know just trying to start the server up and these people just sit there idle afk not even opping i'm like why are you joining the server if you're not gonna op get the get the fuck out of here and they're just sitting there scrolling i'm looking at skins bro leave me alone i'm like fuck you and then now being in a position to like add skins back into the the server again and then all of a sudden it it's almost like a flip in the light switch. You add skins back in the server, and the fuck people just start flooding in. It's, I, I don't. It's it's wild. I don't know. I don't even know how. Do people even care about the server? Or do they just care about fucking skins? So it's like, what the fuck? I don't know what it is. I don't like it. I don't like the skins. I don't like that they're there. But you are proven that. It is what people want. It seems to be the main one of the main contributors to getting people on the server. Unfortunately, uh, it, I will still like fight you on that and say it's a coincidence that it's really the just the overall life that we're bringing right now that's going on with the podcast, the forum, just being active on the Discord. It's making people feel like there is some revitalization effort. And alongside that is just the feeling of, okay, the server isn't dead after all. Let's just get on. And so maybe the skins are related. Uh, maybe it's just a coincidence. I think we just threw a bunch of shit at the wall and some of it stuck. Because, I mean, not only that. what well, Yeah, so we added the points uh, back, the quake sounds, the skins, the podcast, the forum... Um, and then adding the looking for players section into the discord. I mean, we did a like 12,000 different things all at once and so- something hit. We have struck gold, ladies and gentlemen, Gloveworks is back, baby. Um, at least the past three nights, the past three nights, shit, people have been on there cranking away. So, uh, I think the next on the chopping block is getting more maps on the server. Um, right now, op eggplant and op lego mini india are bugged causing a uh when the server is changed to those maps that just crashes everyone's game and so we've removed them from the server but i'm working diligently to bring back op eggplant and op lego mini india uh hopefully i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna try try my damnedest to get that done by the end of today get those back in the server 
and sick maps yeah yep yep and then oh yeah then what yeah you you just screenshotted a bunch of maps tell them tell them about it all right well i saw some discussion on the discord uh last night uh people are just i don't know what brought it up exactly but they just started talking about a whole bunch of different maps and i think they wanted to go back to doing the tier list stuff and then screenshots came about and I thought, you know what? If anyone has like all of the maps that have been on the server, it's probably me. Like I've been, I've been on the server for several years. I've been making maps. I've definitely played most, if not all of them. So that's what I did today. I just launched Counter Strike Go, the legacy version. Opened up every single op map that I had on my computer, and I. Uh, Tried to see if it was one that was on the map pool. And if it was, I screenshot it. Got a list of 71 maps. All screenshotted, all put on the forum now. So if anyone wants to take a look at all of the maps that have ever been in the map pool, it's there and available. Yeah, and that so yeah, at this point, it's just like what what maps do we do we work on? What maps do we focus on to bring over from CSGO to CS2? Also, watching you go through the maps in CS:GO, God, the the vibes of the old engine, the old lighting, the old the old maps, it's just so much, so much nostalgia. I feel like we're talking about Nintendo. I feel like we're we're talking about Super Nintendo, PlayStation One, but it's it's <laughs> we're actually just talking about a, a game that was just a year ago. It feels like so much. How, it feels like several years have gone by since I since CS:GO, doesn't it? Like, it feels like something I used to do in my childhood. <laughs> I, <used> to... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean the server. I mean, you probably not just you, but like anyone who's been a part of the community, like thinks not just about what it was last year, but what it was when they first got on the server, which could have been like for me. It was probably six years ago at this point, and that 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 is big nostalgia. Like six years ago, I, I'm a wee lad, a young twenty, gaming on the op server, and pub having to play maps that are crashing every single time the map changes. And it was a like like there's just little things even like that, like just like people will remember that have nostalgia about that just changing the map it crashes and now we have this whole situation where every single map has some uh other non-crashing version there's a whole bunch of different versions of maps and it's interesting this i i saw people talking about uh like despite like people love to hate maps but like that's that's all they remember kind of like people will remember space wall and uh They'll talk trash about it, but that that map stuck with them. They're like, "Oh, that's a that's a map I remember," versus like, I mean, I can't like. There's maps I don't really remember so much. Like people will talk. Like I don't see people talk about Op Nuke that much. That that was a uh, one of the favorites. I thought. Yeah, but, yeah. As even yeah. Oh my god, I saw you hop on Op Nuke today, and I was like, dude, dude, Op Nuke. Yes, I need that in my life. But yeah, I mean. It's almost like a bad experience is more memorable than a good experience. It's like pretty, pretty, uh, pretty strange. Like people remember the maps that, like, I don't know, I didn't like it very much, but <laughs> for whatever reason, it stood out. I mean, it may have been that since it was my map that I was forcing people to play it against their will. I don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> Space Wall's the fucking goat, dude. That's such a fun map. Space wall old, space wall old. That was that was so good. But yeah, it is it is fun to just think about all the old maps and uh, yeah, one 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 step at a time will bring them back. But uh, yeah, just 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 the old memories. I what even just playing yesterday. A guy was in the server and he typed in a chat, dude. I remember playing in this server back in high school, man. You guys are still alive in CS2. That's so cool. 
And then, always, yeah, you're right. You always They always bring up, like, I remember this map back then. I remember this map back then. It's, um, yeah, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's meta or, like, how it, like, because even, even Counter-Strike as a game, right? Like, they cycle, like, maps come in and out, but not as quickly as in the op server. Like, map, yeah, maps... I wonder what it, we've kind of it's it's taken what like four or five years for us to kind of land on like like what a 20, 20 maps in a map pool that everyone's like cool with, but I mean we've gone through like hundreds you know over the over the years. For sure, we tried a whole bunch. Uh, we did have like the I think it was we were trying to do a seasonal thing, like a seasonal map rotation. Oh yeah, that's right. I think that's what was going on. That's why I also have some actual like themed maps we were trying to do, like right. winter versions. Like every month or few months, like change the map pool up and then piss everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, people are always gonna be mad. People fucking hate new maps. If it's a new map, they fucking hate it. And that yeah, I remember what releasing Op Gulag back in the day, and people are like fuck this shit and now now last night dude i saw everyone voting for fucking gulag and i was like what since when since when do people like gulag what the fuck so yeah even then like some of the some of the maps that we were releasing it's funny to see them being liked more as time goes by another one that yeah i'm i i mean it's 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 my favorite map of all time it's how the server was even founded up India V2. I, I'm not even sure if putting that back on the server, if that would even be a good thing. I feel like there's so much hate for Op India V2 these days. I'll, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, would fixing the spawns, so you uh, but put all the spawns in the center of the map so people don't get casted out to the left or right side of the spawn, like, would that maybe help, help people, like, relieve their uh, negative emotions towards the map if we put it back in the pool? I don't think so. I don't like that change at all. I am I like you sold me on it uh, way back when we were talking about it. How having the forcing people into awkward spawns is such a like a unique thing about Gloveworks and like it's a skill to be able to just adapt off of where you spawn and know this is exactly what I need to do. And there's a like especially that was a big part of india you spawn in a certain spot true instantly scope nowhere to look and <laughs> it like it, it it's not you there's only a f- couple of spots where you're actually able to die at, like as soon as you spawn but like it more often than not you at the very least need to move that's like uh either move your feet or move where you're aiming like it's it's not the same as on asylum where you it used to be where you just scope and shoot and when you spawn you'll get a kill i don't think india was ever like that it, it was just uh probably like newer players who aren't even like used to the map they or maybe they are not new and they just never figured it out that there's certain fights that just happen very quick and they're not prepared for it but um, changing the spawns got rid of that aspect. I don't like it. Other people probably do. Yeah, I'm 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 with you, dude. I I fucking love the pain. I love the pain of that map. Like like that's how the the well, I used to have a little server message in there saying like suck at quick scoping, get better, bitch. Like some shit like that. Like because yeah, I- those are a vibe. <laughs> I love those. I remember. I I don't know why. Whenever I think about that, I think about you had one for flux about like lifting. I think I'm not sure. Oh yeah, you had one for black blood, bird food. The, the I I love thinking about the yeah. We'll bring those, those back old for names sure. back then. We'll, we'll uh yeah. We gotta we gotta put in some uh, yeah. Cause right now in the in the server, I don't even have any like text like messages scrolling by. So uh, we'll definitely have to implement uh, that style back in. But the yeah think yeah India man being spawning out in the middle of the open is just the only way you're gonna get out of that alive is if you you quick scope and you hit that shot right out of the spawn it's so cutthroat oh my god it's the best so maybe may, I keep forgetting sorry I keep forgetting that like I didn't even 
Oh, until until you just mentioned it, I didn't even realize India is not on the CS2 server. Yeah, it's not. Well, there's some other um, version. I forget. I looked at some of the versions, and they just I don't know that there was something wrong with them and stuff. So I think I I gotta go through the workshop and see if someone's ported one over. I believe they have. So they just gotta load them up and see what's going on. Um, and and just kind of go from there. Cause well, as speaking of centering the spawns. I mean, I did make that change to uh, Creek. Creek, the the spawns are do not spawn people on the sides of the map, and that it's changed the meta of of the map. Like there's there's no longer like the pockets out to the left or right where you hide behind the cover. And I mean, yeah, it you can kind of just barrel up like straight up to the top, like a hundred percent of the time now. And I, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. And then I also did it to Lego Mini India. Um, where you don't spawn out to the sides, and yeah, and again, it it kind of does it does just fuck up the charm of the map. It does. I've I've noticed that on Creek when I play it, I, like I have the muscle memory. I'm trying to when I spawn, I aim at certain spots, and then I remember there's it's impossible. No one's ever gonna spawn there. I think um, I think we've become a little bit too triple A. You know, we've be, we've been we've become a little bit too EA games where these f fucking noobs complain on the forum about these mechanics like, oh, I died this way. It's stupid. I don't like this game. Well, bitch, if you were better at the game, you might actually have some fucking fun. So why don't you suck it up and get good, motherfucker? I think we need to tap into that. I think we need to make make people struggle a little bit more. You know, it's life's a little too easy out there. Let's put them in some some spawns, some locations on the map where, you know, you're going to actually going to have to get good to get out of this and then call him a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that aspect, I think, is surprisingly appealing to like like a small amount of toxicity, not like I mean, there's uh, like feeling like like getting a enemies on the server like for me i think about uh asylum there's always players who would go to the the pot to abuse the head glitch and yep. those specific players are my enemies like the, the one name i'm gonna say right now is halts that guy <laughs> his shameless play style i would always talk trash about it this guy would abuse the cheesiest stuff but he's just making the most like that's the the plays to climb like he'd be doing on india v2 looking through the little crack it's like basically a one way or i, <laughs> I can't shoot back at him and he just gets a free kill I'd, I'd be i'd see people do that i'm like no now other people are learning from halts they're seeing him do it it's infecting everyone and yeah that's that whole like like so like in a way like it's not a not like an enemy as in i hate him it's just like this is the person no, who I, if i see him guy. on the server i fucking hate that I mean, motherfucker <laughs> playing like a I fucking will... little oh little head glitching motherfucker peek like a man quit using these cheeky little pixel glitches man why don't you fight me like a man like i get exactly. it dude no no the nemesis is in the server like like i kind of like nur right like i fucking exactly I people love, love to hate him. i love nur but Fuck nerd, dude. <laughs> and it's so it's so fun to. That's exactly the thing. You need a person you want to target. That's like your motivation. Maybe nerds on the server. I'm gonna ruin his day. I'm gonna make <laughs> him lose 100 points. Uh, all right. So all right. Uh, yeah. So enjoy your your little wimpy ass spawns on Lego Mini India, and enjoy your wimpy ass spawns on on um, Creek. Uh, while you can, folks. Oh, updates inbound. We're gonna be putting spawns back, back out wide. That way, you chump motherfuckers who don't know how to aim are gonna get lit up. All right, get good, get good. Um, yeah. The let's see. Well, yeah, I, I'm just still on the I'm on the forum right now, kind of just uh, being amused, scrolling through all the all the op maps. There's so many. My God, what? How many did you put together that we've like like? So what? You put together a list of maps that were it like just at some point in the map pool like over the years, right? That's like basically the the criteria. Yes, and they are they're only maps. Because I went through my CSGO directory, so nothing from CS2. Correct. So correct. it's all the old CSGO versions of maps. 
And I I tried to make sure it was ones that were in the map rotation at some point. Yeah, yeah. Not though, because, yeah, obviously we've tested, like, hundreds. Uh, Yeah, fucking op source forts. That was nuts. I love that map. Black that Blood map was, was so only... good. It's funny how you right. can think of, like, someone that was so good at the maps, right? Like, source right. forts. I just think about Black Blood. I'm like, dude, that guy shredded that map. Holy... He's the only reason it was on the server. He yeah, like, true, huh? He, yeah, he yeah. He was he he's the one who like brought that up. He's like, dude. I asked him like, what map do you want on the server? He's like, because I fucking hated. I I still kind of hate that map. Fucking source forts. I'm like retarded. I don't but, blame you. Yeah, but I don't know. He, he he proved me wrong. I was just like, it's a dumb map, dude. But I saw how good he was on it. I'm like, obvious. Because I I think it. I mean. Kind of like what you were saying, uh, a point you brought up that I just went, you know, down a rabbit hole on. But like people, people uh, like maps they're good at, right? And then like if I if I play on a map and I don't really think there's like a solution to the map, it's just absolute mayhem. There's no solution. Shitty map. Fuck that map. But like a guy like Blackbud shows you like, no, dude, there is a solution. Watch me absolutely shred setting fucking olympic gold medal world records out here on source forts watch me i'm like prove it and he fucking does it's like oh shit then it then when you see someone like like solving the map and like performing to it like an nth degree then you're like oh shit then you want to do it then all of a sudden like i still don't like the map but like i'd like to learn and like try to get good at it because obviously it's possible for sure it is so interesting to see how people uh how the like we take a map that we don't know anything about and then someone creates the meta and it's just completely changed yeah and, uh, yeah and an interesting map of like seeing the meta change i think is op lego 2 versus op nuke where it's like op nuke and op lego 2 they're like very similar maps right like it's it, but they just changed a few things on op nuke and the like uh, the way the map flows and like where you peak, it just changes everything. Even just a few minor adjustments. I think about uh, Lego Two. I think about that map and Nuke. Like the, it's, it is just a really minor. I mean, it seems like a minor change, like with the containers on Nuke compared to Lego Two, and then the big silos that are hanging on nuke yeah like, they gave you a, those, some more cover like that like it's still the same map but it completely changes it and then even like little stuff like on nuke i remember i changed the tower so you can like, yeah yeah you stand can, and jump out yeah, there's like less out cover super clean so like those little it, things completely it makes it squishier it. too because you take so much more damage through those thin metal walls Yep, they're thinner, they're smaller in height, so the the tower in Nuke I think is a lot weaker. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Yeah, my um my anxiety peaks at the top of that tower versus like it's just Lego 2 and you're at the top of the tower, you you're just confident. Um not too anxious up there, but on Nuke, you're definitely you got some anxiety, fo show. Sure. And right, I'm scrolling. Yeah, yeah, just scrolling through these maps. It's just, <laughs> it's just like just scrolling. You can just scroll for days. Like I see India Proto. When I think of that map, I remember watching Jump on that map. He, he goes like, at like four or five KD, at like nearly a hundred kills. I don't know what he's doing, and somehow pulling it off on a small map like that. It's crazy. Yeah, and then yeah, and then and then it kind of just goes into like like history of like historical players where like you know you you can play in the server for years and years, but now now the Glovework server has been around for so long that there's like eras. So what I I mean I think I looked up I was talking to someone yesterday about like all right when did you start the server and I was like trying to think I guess I could just look at my my bills on NFO servers I'll I'll, I'll search it right now as I talk but I when I was talking to him I was like I think it was 2013 or like 2014 is is when uh, when uh, it all began 
Um, yep, yep, right there. First first payment to NFO servers, July 14th, 2013. 2013. Correct Mundo, sir. So back then, my guy, dude, it was a 24-7 Op India V2 server. It was the only map. And it was filled to the brim, baby. People couldn't get enough. I'd look forward. I'd, I'd go to work, come back, get home, plant my ass in the chair, and be like, all right, looks like I'm going to play Op India V2 for five hours tonight. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> um, And then... uh. Yeah, yeah. So back then, so I believe it was the I, I was even talking to some of the old, the folks back then, and um, some name some names that I remember. I got it was the I think the one of the best players back then was uh, clinical. Um, and then some of the other characters back then was were uh, Chicken Prime and Novs. Uh, the obviously before your time, Chicken Prime is still still active to this day. He has a different name. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's the uh, JCV. I recognize all of those names. I I think. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And then and then yeah. And then it, we went through a period where like obviously, I mean, I was just an idiot server owner back there. Then you know. Uh. And then it uh, <laughs> since I ref- absolutely refused to add any new maps to the server and then uh i think the skins started like coming out the skins plugins and like and then i like people wanted stats i was like fuck your stats dude it's about your style it's about how you up (laughs) like tracking stats is retarded and then i I, I agree with that yeah yeah like there's definitely a vibe of like a server not tracking stats and it's just like dude i'm not trying all the time like i don't want to have to fucking maintain a fucking rating in a server like sure if you want me to fucking kick into gear and like pull off some sick shots and shit but i'm not gonna fucking sit here and try my ass off all the time so i was was like anti-stats i was more about like style i would just scream it at the top of my lungs um, <laughs> at, at, at people for, for camping on the ramp on Op India V2. Because you'd spawn, you'd go to the bottom of the ramp, and I was like, I called them cramp. Uh, what I, what I call I called them cramps because they were like, why do they fucking scream at them? They're cra- crabs, cramps? I was like, crabs, you cramps! They're like, oh, the crap, crappy ramp campers. I call them cramps, I think. I was like, you're a bunch of cramps! You fucking cramps! And I just fucking yell at them. Because my favorite thing to do on Op India is spawn, run, run, run up to the very top and then just fight fight at the top my favorite i mean you you know this justin but my my favorite shape my favorite shape to fight around in counter strike is there's i don't really know a better word for it but little, the little nipple at the top of op india v2 that that shape with the slanty walls that isn't an exactly a square it's got the corners kind of cut off it's it is the perfect shape to to have gun fights around it it's so much fun um, and especially in an op server, because yeah, you can do a wide peek off it. You can you can bait them out with your shoulder. You're just like shoot at my shoulder. Go ahead, go ahead. And then and then they're they're staring out there, and you're just shoulder peeking you, and they fire and they hit your shoulder, and you wide peek on them. Oh my god, so it was, it was so much fun. Um, I agree. I but, love that aspect. But you know, uh, you I, apparently apparently. You can't have a server that does one map 24-7 uh, f- forever because people apparently get tired of the same map over and over and over again. Um, which, which uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, saw, saw a lot of the traffic dip and then ev- inevitably I put on a, a point, point system. Um, I, I fought the skin trend for a long time because people joining and just fucking around with skins and not opping I thought was absolutely retarded. But then I succumbed to the to the peer pressure. Everyone's like, put skins on the server. I was like, fuck you. Then I don't. Then then there was a small arrow. I'm like, all right. Well, um, before I add new maps, what if people still want to play Op India, but just all the different versions? So then I added all the. <laughs> there's like. There must be at least a hundred different versions of Op India that have been published. So it's still an Op India twenty four seven server. Um, but then I started putting like what the Vietnam version, the Lego version, the what Op SWAT, Op this, Op that. But it's all still Op India. Turns out no one really fucked with it. <laughs> that was a failure. <laughs> 
and then um and then the server was dead for a little while and then it wasn't until i I was like fuck it like i'll fucking add op op lego 2 added op lego 2 and then yeah and then uh then began just the you know just hunting and finding maps that worked well on the server um and then yeah, I, I I honestly don't remember like what year or like what what that time frame was when I just started at. Uh, it must have been right. It must have been within the same year. Cause what a lot a lot a big grip of people. What it was like the only op servers back then. Yes, that's how I got introduced to the op servers. So yeah, it was like it was like some dude that he just ran like one or two like op servers, right? I think. He had a. There was a ton was a of only of op servers. There was a whole lot of them. You search only op. There'd be only op, and there's a certain like uppercase, lowercase, alternate, alternating capitalization. Then there was the op only, which I think was someone else. Oh, uh, okay. And they'd be like competing. I think it was different communities on each of those servers, and they. I think they also had the uh, regional difference, like east and west coast. I'm not too sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were numbered as well, I believe. Um, and then I remember, yeah, so those were around and I was, I was competing with them for a little while. And then I think within the same year, they all just went down because that's when, uh, because back in the day you could monetize from your server from, you, you would in the background, like the, the plugin developers figured out ways to play and like get ad impressions and like play like audio. Ad. I don't know. So some kind of ads could be played in the background. Um, and then uh, CSGO released the panoramic update, which removed the like ability to embed the browser inside of the game somehow, some way. And then, uh, all the ways you could actually monetize from operating a Counter Strike server cease to exist, and and then f- following that update, uh, uh, many of the communities that were for profit then closed their doors. They're like, "Yo, this shit's costing money to run now. Um, we're gonna shut the doors." I think, and I think that's when only op shut down as well. And then you know the 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 last man stand. I don't think I was the last man standing, but what what then like there were probably at that point it was probably uh, if you're gonna op, then you're gonna join GloveWorks. I think SNG was probably still up back then. Uh, I think so. Never played those servers though. There, there was SNG. Ah, uh, what what were the other ones? I don't even know. I don't, I guess it really has. Um, there was iGlobal. iGlobal. That's right. I don't. I think they may have had auto bunny hopping. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know what they had. I just didn't like that server that much. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I think a lot of the a lot of the other ones had bunny hopping and stuff. So and then GloveWorks was like the only op server you could join that didn't have like insane gnarly bunny hopping, or like with like people with trails and hats and stuff. Oh, that's what it was. They had the custom stuff, the trails, like you just said. That's I think that's what iGlobal had. I did I just did not like that yeah. stuff. Yeah, and all. the low grav, bunny hopping and low grav. Yeah, I forget all the names of all the communities cuz I mean I myself don't don't enjoy that gameplay either, so it's hard for me to 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 remember all of them. But there are yeah, there are a grip of them and then yeah, for one reason or another there's still a, there's still like uh, a demographic out there that enjoys like low grav with some B hop with some, some stuff like that out there. I think the only people servicing that group of people in CS2 is karma gaming, but I, I CS2 is tough, man. G- yeah. Keeping your servers stable in CS2 right now. And all the plugins break every fucking update. And even, yeah, I mean, you've, you've heard me complain a bazillion times. Um, yeah, just just keeping it all together, get, keeping all the nuts and bolts and everything working smoothly is an absolute pain in the arse. But yeah, it's the era. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see the era. Yeah, just over time, the era of people. So so when back then, when only op just switched over, I think that's when like flux flux was like one of the top oppers. Like, and was that was flux the same era as bird food? Or were they this? Yes, for sure. Okay. Um, I like I so I I'll I'll talk a little bit about how I found GloveWorks. Um, like so I was introduced to the opping genre through only op and. 
I would always play in my East Coast server, and the only like so the, I'm not familiar. I was never familiar with all the the West Coast people that are all like they all consider Gloveworks to be their home. Um, so like there there were a whole bunch of people from East that still never hopped into Gloveworks. Until when much you later. started, did we have the East Coast server Gloveworks Cherry back no. then? No, it was just no, no, it was no. just West Coast. Okay, I had to. It took that. It was the in order to get you to make that like. It was because uh, the op- the West Coast was always full. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then we had, um, I think Holtz was one of the, uh, Holtz was East like me, and he was one of the top players. And it's not, like, it might, there was probably other people as well, but like, you, I think you just saw enough regulars uh, that were from East Coast that uh, it, you must have been convinced it was worth it. And it ended up being worth it. Um, but I, I was on the server. As soon as uh, cause I like as soon as only op went down, like you said, I was like refreshing the the server browser, just trying to see if any op server came up, and then I saw Gloveworks come up. Um, maybe I just didn't find it until that day, coincidentally. But uh, Gloveworks came up, cause uh, cause what you would talk about is how like oh the server would go down, and because of like a plugin thing, and you just wouldn't like bother to yeah it, yeah 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 and it, right? back back in the yeah back in that time i was also an absolute party animal so i mean shit i, I could not be bothered to work on the server for an hour or two to fix some plugin updates <laughs> so there was there was for right. sure like a I, the, the, back then i think there was probably a six month period where the server was just down people would message get the server back up and i'm like yeah okay i don't know well, i don't know about that but <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So one day it popped back up. I'm going to say it was probably the beginning of November 2018. So it popped up. I joined a server. I saw a Discord link. I joined it. And it was like fairly empty. The server was empty, uh, meaning the op server was empty. The Discord was fairly empty. But I uh, eventually I checked again and the server was populated. There were people on it around December. So then I started going on that probably like every day. Got and, it. Like the whole at that point, I guess I like that enough time passed that there were a bunch of established people. Like then, like you said, there was Flux, Bird Food. I think Black Blood was there at that point. Yeah. Um, I can't. I can't even. Think I wonder of any of the other top how long names. do you think those only op servers were were running? Hmm. I don't know. So and then- I don't know how long before I joined them, but I think I was probably active on them for like a year. Got it. And then the the only op servers, what? So, obviously the most popular map skin was, was is Op Lego Two, where then they had like a half decent map pool, did they not? Or yeah, I don't I don't really remember like what what type of map. Obviously, I didn't even play in them because I was just obsessed with Op India. But right. it was pretty much only Lego Two and sometimes Lego Three. Like it. If people would just switch back to Lego 2 at any time the map changed. So those are pretty much all Lego 2 only servers. Sometimes they're they're like it was almost entirely Lego maps. They Got had it. Lego 8 and then Lego 2 Tower. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the for the, looking at the ops cuz like you know, Gloveworks, right? we're we're literally defining a genre still to this day. The op genre outside of the United States, basically outside of glove works. Um, it's, it's, it, you, you look in Ukraine, you look in Russia, you look in Europe, any op servers that have people in them. There's, there's still, there's, they're like, they're like, it's like looking at a different, a different species, you know, looking at them like where we used to be, you know, we're, we're so, we're so much more evolved than those archaic operas back, back in the day. Where like they they had they don't even know that they could be playing a different map than these fucking op Lego maps twenty four seven dude, it's um I I love that's one thing that I, that like I guess I'm like proud of that like the the influence and like kind of like the I would say it's a it's like a genre of gaming that that we've kind of created it inside of the the GloveWorks community is introducing these maps that like are like. You know, it's like a different style of just, instead of just playing Op Lego Two, it's like adapting the Op and like learning how to play inside these different maps and, and landscapes. It's uh, but I guess the point is, it's it's interesting to see other servers that are still stuck in the twenty four seven Lego Two ever. So it's like, well, when do, when are they gonna evolve? Like, when are they gonna start playing some different maps? Shush. 
Right. It's uh, the genre defining aspect that you're mentioning is it's cool when uh, every once in a while we'll see one of our maps on a, one of the Europe servers. Yeah. You it's... especially, Mr. Op Summer Surf over here. Yeah. Uh, that's that's, yeah. <laughs> that's a f smash hit. The people love Summer Surf. Yep. That was a very, it's just complete luck. I don't know how that, I don't know what I was going through in that. A uh, time where I came up with that map, but uh, people seem to love the map. Justin, you're a mapping genius. You are a savant. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, that yeah, summers. Yeah, so the so what I okay. Oh, another community I remember, but it it popped up later. Um, they got in the game a little bit late. They they saw they saw how well the Gloveworks Opping community was doing. And they were like, you know what? We're going to start up an op server as well. And what we're going to do, we're going to look at the maps that Gloveworks is playing, and we're going to put them on our server. And that place is called Ego. The the Edge Gamers? Edge Gamers? Ego server? Yes. They took all of our East players. All of our East players went over there. Man, those guys. Yeah, I... It was interesting. Yeah, they went over there. I think they're, they're okay. Yeah, their server performed better in the server browser. So when people would hit refresh and you're all like east east or central for like because the server browser is super quirky and fucking weird as fuck. But yeah, their, their server would pop up quicker in the server browser. And then so like anyone that would search for op stuff would just join that one because it would just it would it'd populate faster. Um, and then to this day, I'm like, uh, or at least the server browser is completely fucked now. But I, um, yeah, now now the criteria of starting a server, the first thing I, as you've seen me do a bazillion times, but yeah, it's testing out a new server. The first thing I do is see how quickly it populates, and I have other people test like, how's this IP come up for you? Hit refresh. Does it come up fast? Yeah, it's a shame that Valve screwed the server browser, so there's no value in doing that anymore. Yeah, I don't know if it's still the same in CS2 browser though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're now there's CS2browser.com. That's like a thing people can use, and I think a lot of people do use that. And then the 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 server browser obviously still functions at some capacity for CS2, but it's just so broken. Like right now, I have I have my browser open. I'm clicking refresh. I don't know what five seconds gone by. It screen's still blank. Not a single server's coming up. And then yeah, I don't know. I I might get the a few servers that pop up here and then sometimes a, a month goes by and i'm like let's see if they, they've made any updates to the server browser and i remember a few months ago whoosh i would hit refresh on it and it just filled up with servers instantly i'm like is it back is it working uh, it's just it doesn't make any goddamn sense that that server browser dude oh god but let's focus on the positive things i mean yeah how are so so when we're playing now, like in the server, I'm noticing like new players and stuff joining the server. And like, it's even a tough question to even ask them. I'm like, so how'd you find the server? And they're like, the browser. I'm like, okay, well, shit. Did you, the CS2 browser, like CS2browser.com? And they think I just said like CS2 browser. Like, yeah, the CS2 browser. I'm like, are you talking about the, did you go to a website or did you click the commute, like the browser button in the video game? Hard to, hard to find out. You know, how are these new people finding the server? You know what? I just pressed the server not full checkbox in the server browser, and it works for me. When uh, normally it wouldn't. Server problem, not full. Check. Yeah, I check that, and okay. I refresh, and then it just I'll do fills. all. Okay, I, I have a latency less than 100. I'll do all. Okay, server not full. Check. Refresh. Holy shit! What? That worked. What? Okay. So it must be just that checkbox is bugged. And if you don't have that checked, then it doesn't. Okay. Like, pop Server up not else. full. Latency less than 100. Refresh. Boom! That fires off so quick. Whoa! What is this shit? All right. Uh, now I'll go into server name. I'll go to map. I'll go to map. I'll type in op. And then I'll hit refresh. Uh, boom, xplay.gg. Yeah, those yep, servers fill. How many people actually use xplay, right? So, what, what, are, there's like, there's, there's xplay, uh, and, and prac, and maybe like one other one, but 
what so prac is like the retake i don't know the it's just everyone has like a different like method or like a different way of like finding like a server to play in now when like back in csgo you just hopped in the server browser you clicked away and everyone's just trying to like finagle and finesse their way into some servers um but yeah the, it's it's interesting to learn some people some people let's get the word of mouth going let's get everyone to uh we'll send you some flyers we'll send you some flyers and let's just put them out into your community go to your neighbor's neighbor's door leave them a nice flyer in their mailbox saying you know do you love gloves do you love working? Well, I've got the place for you, the Gloveworks server. Hop on, download this free video game called Counter-Strike 2. Uh, when you open up the video game, you're going to head to the settings. You're going to enable the console, okay? Now, you're going to wonder, how do you open the console? It's called the tilde key at the top left of your keyboard. <laughs> Connecting yeah. the servers is insane. Like, the amount of technical knowledge you have to know just to even get, open a console and connect to an IP is, like, bonkers. Right, right. At least if you have a, a link, if you give them a link to press, it'll take them there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, e yeah. Even then, the 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 little pop up to allow, allow or or does it say den does it say deny? Like you, you're because it they you need to download the workshop map to like join the server. Yeah, right? yeah. So you That's need to allow or deny. It's just, it's just this pop up, and it feels like you got a virus or something. You're like, oh, I don't. Uh, what do I do? It's like right. a yes or a no, and you're like, I don't know. I just want to opt. They're like, allow or deny. I don't know. It's so weird. It's like, Even when the map changes when you're on the server, yeah. it sends you back to the main menu and Ugh. then has you check that again. Yeah, it feels like your fucking game crashed when like all it did is change the map, and it's like allow or deny. You're like, dude, I just want to play the fucking video game. Like, well, I don't want to have to be given like a, a fork in the road of what decision I want to make next is is gonna, you know, is a detrim detrimental decision to to my future. So it's like allow or deny, and you're like, de and you hit deny, and it's like poof, shuts you down from the server, and you're just like, well, fuck, I didn't even know what I was allowing or deny. I just want to play my video game, dude. Like, you know what though? Like now that I think about it, because I think about how servers would force you to download it for like probably like almost five minutes. Like every individual like yeah, player yeah, model yeah, yeah. and all those other things. True. Now there's at least a confirmation so that they won't force that download to happen. There's a one single check. Yeah. I, I imagine what servers will do is they'll put like all of their assets into one workshop thing and then yeah. they'll just so, confirm yeah, so that once. Uh, what I need to do a better job as a server operator and I, I need to post in the chat like the scrolling text ads um you know I I need to tell people like like uh bothered or bothered about the the wait time for downloading maps or want to auto accept the maps or whatever and all they need to do to avoid hitting that allow button to in into the server every time all they need to do is to subscribe to our our workshop collection that we have and then it'll automatically download all the maps and um, and anything that's played in the server will all be already be downloaded on the computer. And since you subscribe to the collection, it automatically approves every map that's in that collection to be on your computer and they have a good experience. And you know what? As a server operator, I, I haven't notified them. I haven't told them that they can do this and I haven't given them the link to the workshop collection to do so. So it, it's my fault. It's my fault. You know what? Even... If we can put the the custom like the quake sounds as a map in the collection exactly. as well, yeah, and just tell people that that's actually that's not bad. Yeah, so yeah, I just got to put all the maps and the, and the quake sound assets and any other assets. You should put it in the collection and then just advertise it with a very quick, concise, compelling message. Something messaged along the lines of like, you know, tired of having to download maps or like clicking stupid fucking pop-ups when you think your game crashed when you just want to continue opping. Just uh, copy paste this link and subscribe to the workshop collection, and you're now uh, you now have a smoother experience in the server. Uh, yeah, I mean, shit. There's a lot of stuff we need to start saying it in the text ads. To be honest, I mean, subscribe to the world's greatest, most popular podcast. Number one, boom. Um, also, need to publish this podcast in, on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, and wherever you can find podcasts these days. You need to start publishing out to to those places. 
Um, what we need to we need to get post a website, you know, in the chat. Get people on the the on the forums. Uh, post a link to the Discord. Um, come to th- yeah, I guess what and now 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 since Gloveworks is back, baby. Well, shit, I don't even know. I just I just thought about it again as like the VIP perks or whatever. I guess I mean we never really gave too many perks for VIP to begin with, but at least giving people the option to contribute to the project, um, and then give them a reserve slot, right? Uh, so if they want to join, there's always room for the VIPs to join. VIPs. That's. The... I feel like that's very optimistic. Oh, uh, we'll see. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it definitely is. I wouldn't even know how to integrate it now. You know, like uh, right. I don't. I don't even know. Um, we'll see. If the server is that that full all the time, yeah, exactly. That would be the priority. I mean, for I mean, shit. Uh, when I got home from my dinner yesterday, I went to join the server and it was full. I, <laughs> I, I had to wait for someone to leave to to, to join the server. It felt great, you know. I'm like, wow. You know what we're gonna get? We're gonna get doormen that have to, you know, that you're and you get to sit in line. Ah, uh, that'd be that's so that's so funny. To, <laughs> <laughs> they, you gotta. That's like a, basically a kind of like a whitelist. Yeah, uh, exactly. And then if if you're a, if you're a you know a club member, the doorman just lets you in. You know, if not, nope, you're not allowed. And then yep. uh, it's like a whitelist and then a fast pass. If you're on the list, you just get right in and kick someone out. Yep. Otherwise, yep. you have to wait in line. That's and that's then really and then you though. you and the boys are just sitting in line, and then a group of girls just walk on in. You're like, fuck, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. Pre like a pre queue. You know what I miss from from CS:GO? Small, small, small detail, but being able to voice chat in the in a in a lobby in a you know if you're when you're in a lobby just queuing up for some matchmaking or whatnot, you you still cannot voice chat. I mean, oh, I just want to talk. I just want to talk talk to the people in the lobby. You just sit there and fucking type in a chat box when like in CS:GO you get at least use your voice. It's fucking annoying. Uh, fun fact, though, I mean, it might be a reason why it's not in CS2, but the in CSGO, because you could, there was the open voice lobby, um, everyone's IP was publicly available, like, if you knew what to do, like, if you had some, some cheats or whatnot installed, you could get everyone's IP that you were connected with in the lobby. Uh, and now that's not possible because it's not a it's not a voice especially because you could join people's lobbies if they were public right right they added right that. That, that's that's uh, I understand so I mean so not having the feature in CS2 makes it more secure but I mean is Valve really concerned about cheating and being secure at this point I mean look at the game I mean it's it's in shambles. I will fight you on this as well, but maybe that's for another time. I do think. Valve is cooking something. I hope so. I don't know when. I hope but... so. I also, yeah. I, I mean, the what was it called on the server? The little anti-cheat plugin we had in the, on in in the CS:GO server, man. That thing would rip, man. I'd banned so many cheaters back in the day. Holy shit. Um, yeah. So for for those of you that didn't know, we we had a server side anti-cheat uh, in the CS:GO server back then. That was. Uh, a lot more aggressive uh, in its methods of banning someone because, you know, if you know if I'm wrong, if we're if we're wrong about banning someone in the in in an op server, it's, the repercussions aren't that big of a deal, right? They post a, a ban appeal, and honestly, like ninety nine percent of the time, I would I would unban people um, in in CS:GO. Uh, but if you know if CS2 bans someone, they could be potentially banning someone who invested that you know hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars into their inventory, and it's a it's a big fucking deal. But um, millions of dollars is crazy. There is there actually people who have millions? Yeah, of dollars? like the one the uh, hazard hazard hazard. hazard. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I, for that guy specifically. I'm still I, I don't know if I believe it, but we'll see. Like. What if he was cheating if, or I mean no had, if if that's a real inventory I don't of know. course it is he's got he's got he's got millions of he's dollars of dragon shot. lores <laughs> yeah what you, you can't make it up like it's, it's I mean yeah but at this point he's uh banned already why is his inventory still private huh 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know the specifics. I, like, I remember. He doesn't have to worry about the, the, the inventory. It's in the showcase. He was at least sh- in his showcase. He was showcasing like like what? Uh, you can go four down. At least twelve. But you can dragon showcase lures. the same item multiple times. Can you? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. That. Oh, all right, all right. So who knows? So who knows? he has one at least. All right. But like I, I'll I I want because I would I'm more willing to believe that like. Like I like that if he's listening, he's not gonna like it. But like I'd be more more willing to believe that he was correctly banned and he was just an idiot who had one dragon lore rather than he is a absolute like I don't know what, what level there is beyond idiot. But to have millions <laughs> of dollars and then she, but like I I'm hey man, think about the rush, think about the thrill. Of cheating with millions of dollars or, on the line, or like bro. either your heart, he, like let's say he, his story's right, right? That he wasn't cheating; it was just him like trying to do this one eighty settings to like trigger yeah, a band. Yeah, the, like the you're yaw, still an yaw idiot yaw for doing that. Yeah, the, the like M-yaw. you know it's gonna happen. So like, why are you doing I something don't know. like that? I don't know. Just living life on the edge, man. Sometimes after a while, nothing really does it except just putting millions of dollars on the line every time you play CS. It's just it's just something that just gets your heart racing, my guy. And then one day, it all gets taken away. But now, you can just join the Glovework server and get free skins for everybody. But, Un, uh, yep, <laughs> that, that is what we can do now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Um, well, okay, shit, so, fuck, um, you know, what, uh, so, okay, so we actually, we started this podcast, and, like, the whole revival thing's kind of happening pretty good timing, as far as, uh, uh, a month, quote-unquote, is considered, I think, I think we should, we should get back to it, and I think we should get back to rewarding our our glove workers, our loyal, our loyal followers, our loyal locals that that just love grinding the op. Let's put it back up for grabs. The the monthly pizza. All right, all right. So here's the my initial reaction to that is first, uh, is K rating that's consistently reliable? Um, if it, if it is, if we're gonna bank on that, then. I think I mean, it not, is, sorry, not K rating. Not, yeah. That's mine. Uh K four system. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, for people listening, we're using different plugins and stuff to do the, the ratings and the points on the server. Um Justin developed one, but maintaining a plugin over a long period of time is a pain in the ass. And there's already yeah, a plugin. It's too lazy. Yeah, yeah. It's all it's all good, bro. Uh, there's one we found called K4 System that has a rating and point system built in that we've uh finagled it to be as close to as we possibly could to replicate the same point system we had implemented on game me that we used in CS go. Um, if any, Oh, it's and it's for, it's absolutely for sure. Easier. The it's not as cutthroat. There is more inflation and there are more ways to access more points at a time um, in the new rating system. Um, because we figure since the server is less populated and there there aren't as many opportunities to hop online and grind your ass away. Ho- I mean, hopefully that'll change as the server gets more and more popular. But um, I I think it's pretty close. We we what? So me and Justin have put together like like quite literal like Excel spreadsheets of of point exchange and stuff like that. And it's I mean fr- from what we put together, I mean the it's way easier to get more points now. So and it, like yeah, I don't. I think the just from what you've seen over the past few days, I think it's working properly. Yes, I think it's as close as we could get to what uh, yeah we had before yeah. in, Glo- in CS:GO. And I I I think even uh, what we had in CS:GO might have been a little bit too cutthroat. Like it was like, dude, it was fucking hard to even just climb. And the thought of even seeing anyone reaching three thousand points in CS:GO was unfathomable almost like it was like there's no way and now i i believe we 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 may i mean time will tell but i would like to see the day that someone gets to the 3000 mark in in the points um 
And since we did make it a bit, just mar marginally, just a hair. It's just a hair. It's a little bit easier to get points. Oh, and then we also added, so now we're also giving away additional points for, just to add some zhuzh, add some fun, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong. Gloveworks is, is a sweaty environment, and that's what's, that's part of the charm is that, you know, um, if you fucking suck at opping and you want a good score, fucking fuck off, dude. Get better, bitch. Um, but with that said, adding some fun elements, we now reward one point for a headshot, which we never did before. Uh, we added, uh, you get one point for shooting someone, uh, while penetrating through another object. So whether you, uh, so if you get a double kill, it'll actually count as a penetration kill. But if you shoot someone and kill someone like through the edge of a wall or like through a box, we're giving it to you. Cause it's just a, it's a cool way. Like it's a wall bang. It's, it's a, a wall bang. It's a fucking go for wall bangs. You'll be rewarded. Risk versus reward, right? So like, yeah, if you if you get the wall bang, you get an additional point. If you get a headshot, you get an additional point. What else did did we? Um... I think there's no scope, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. You added no scope. Go for the no scope now. You'll get you're rewarded for the risk, right? Take the risk. Live on the edge. Go for the no scope. We'll give you an additional point, baby. Uh, what I think, I mean, those are for sure three. I mean, but that, I mean, an additional three, like one to three points available, like all the time. It's like, it's pretty big. Like over time that like is, is a pretty big deal. Yep. Yep. We just got to see, uh, if the server does or when, when the server gets as active as it was before, or we'll see where the top players end up. Yep. So let's do it. Yeah, pizza's back up for grabs. Uh, fifteen dollars to your local pizza establishment. Um, uh, one hundred percent of the people have chosen Domino's, so I might as well just say Domino's since that's what it, you know. So no, 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 you can't say that unless they're paying. You. All right, all right, all right. True, we need to get sponsored by Domino's. Um, you don't even have to. They'll be the ones giving the reward. Then that's less money for you to pay. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be dope. And it's also even advertisement. Maybe they could pay even beyond that. Yeah. Like Domino's. I mean, then you're uh, actually affiliated. You might have to put like Domino's ah, yeah. in your uh -oh, logos uh -oh, and stuff. Uh oh. I don't know. That. Uh, yeah. We'd have. Uh, I. Don't, are, we're family friendly, right? I don't. <laughs> Does a corporate does a corporation want to? You could be. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't think we do anything. What? So no, I think we're family friendly. We're family friendly. We're we don't. I don't think we do anything that would like people wouldn't want to be associated. Like a, a brand would want to be associated with us. I mean, other than me saying fuck on a podcast, I mean, who knows? Oh my god, that. <laughs> that reminds me of the old server dude back in the day when it was uh, the server was op india 24 7 it was also a no rules environment so that was definitely not a brand friendly place to be but so i mean i think i i am i'm proud of the rules that that i've put into place um three rules being no no cheating no racism, and then the blanket rule that I think encompasses unacceptable behavior in the server is, um, they say just no hatefulness, just no being hateful. I think that's just... I think so. Yeah, so those are the three rules. Because go ahead and talk shit. Cuss someone out, you know? Tell, tell them to go go kill yourself in-game, you know? Like, fuck off. Oh, you, boy. you suck, bitch. Suck it, motherfucker. Like, I think that's great. You know, that's that's awesome behavior. But I think that is the brand risk type of behavior. <laughs> but I mean, people get away with it on Twitch. And yeah. When you say that, I think of Dante. Yeah, Dante. But yeah, and on stream, all they say is in game. You know, go, go, I just just go kill yourself in game. Like, honestly, at this point, they just say in game yourself. That's yeah, what people do. Go. They just know. <laughs> um, and shit like that. It's all good. But like, it's just that when you're like actually being hateful, you're like, yo, bro, like, like I legitimately fucking hate you. I hate everything about you. And I hope you fucking die tonight in your sleep. <laughs> oh and they're, and they're like, and they're actually serious. And it's like, actually like hateful. Then it's like, all right, ban, get out of here. None of that. None of that's allowed. But if you're just like, there's a difference in between like, you know, nice banter, you know, just calling someone that you're a piece of shit, motherfucker. 
Like, there's there's that, but then there's, like, actually being hateful. And I guess it's up to the admins. And we have the best admins in the world. We have the greatest team of team of admins that, that never made a mistake. <laughs> That's true. All of them are 100% like volunteered not just randomly yeah we don't we don't have paid (laughs) staff here these are people that are taking time out of their day to govern govern the behavior and make sure that you know it's a it's a family friendly kid friend zone the glove work server you know we host we host pizza parties (laughs) we've got a we've got a foam pit um but no like yeah i i like I think that's the best three rules to have. I hate I hate joining a server that has like a bazillion oh, no no this no this no this you know blah blah blah. Dude, it's just like no no racist no cheating don't be hateful. All right, good luck, have fun. Like I get it. That's whole the whole point of that, and I agree with it. With your whole mentality is like you don't want to have to even you don't want as the admins to like think about moderating stuff and you don't want the players to have to think about like avoiding getting banned it just has to be you join the server and play and there's nothing else to it exacto mundo and points matter dude if dude if i join the glove work server and i lose like 20 points that day it ruins my day you know I'm, i'm ruined and i need to stay in the server to like get at least 100 more points on the board dude I mean, that's just how I live my life, dude. It's the Gloveworks lifestyle, you know? I'm not... No one. No one's having a good day until they join the server and, and earn at least 100 points. No one's having a good day. You, you gotta just... You gotta stay focused. You gotta get your priorities straight. Uh, So, uh, folks, we'll catch you in the server, all right? Uh, definitely every, every, every Wednesday we're filling it up. Um, and, and every day at this, the, at this juncture. So get your asses in the server, grind the points, uh, points matter. Glove works. It's a lifestyle. Be about it. Be about it. <laughs>